Hello everyone, praise the Lord. Very good morning. I'm happy that God has brought us together to meditate this word today. Hello everyone, praise the Lord. Very good morning. Very happy that God has brought us together to meditate His word. May God speak to us even in this morning as we meditate His wonderful word through the spiritual break session. Today's meditation is from the same verse that we meditated yesterday, the book of Romans chapter 3 verse 20. Therefore, no one will be declared righteous in God's sight by the works of the law. Rather, through the law, we become conscious of our sin. So, we are going to meditate on the first part of this verse. It is very clear here that by in God's sight, by the works of the law, we are not made righteous. We will not, we should not confuse ourselves with the message we meditated yesterday and today's message. Yes, yesterday we meditated through the law, we get the conscious of sin. At the same time, it is not the works of law that makes us righteous because Jesus Christ has given his life for us. He has shed all his blood for us. Through his blood, we are made righteous. Through the deeds or works that Jesus Christ did on the cross, we are made righteous. It is not the works of the law that makes us righteous. That doesn't mean we can throw away the law. That doesn't mean we can reject the law. We, that doesn't mean we can delete the law from the Bible. We respect the law, we read it, through that we get the knowledge of sin, we understand what sin is, but through the deeds, if, let's say if, if we, we, we strictly follow all the commands or, the, uh, all, or every command that God has given us in the, in the law, still we will not be called the righteous because only those who believe in the blood of Jesus those who understand it is Christ who has died for them will be made righteous. So my dear brothers and sisters, we will have to clearly understand we are the people who do not throw away the law. Yes, there are people who say that since we are not made righteous through the law, why do we need the law? Through the law, we get the knowledge of sin. So we need the law. We respect it. We respect how God dealt with his people. We understand his deeds, his works, his expectations, the sin and how we can live a better life in the sight of God. We, we, we learn so many things from the law. So we, it, we cannot throw away or we cannot delete the law from the Bible. We respect it, but through that we do not have the righteousness. We have the righteousness through Jesus Christ alone. Amen.